Hello Aries and welcome to your February reading. So, I've meditated on your energy and I laid down the first layer of cards, of course. So, um, at the end I'm going to give a little bonus reading with the Lenormand for love since it's February. Okay, so what spirit wanted to talk to you about? Here, the first uh, two cards that came out together, I have the Page of Pentacle and the Sun. Now, that is one heck of a good news, a good offer coming to you, something that is clear, enthusiastic, um, there's no undercurrent happening, everything is clear and there. What you see is, is what there is, you know? Uh, so, there's that pentacle being offered. After that, I have the Princess of Sword. So this is like another news or learning about it, communicating about it, having to inquire. It's like if, um, in a way, we've been presented something, but we have to learn a bit more about it, you know? Even if it's good, it's positive, there's a lot of happiness around it. There's like this, okay, I, I have to, you know, check out something and get more information about it. Uh, maybe talk to people about it. And after that, I have the King of Cups. So here, this is, um, could be uh, dealing with a water uh, sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Uh, but this is, emotional steadiness, that kind of inner calm, um, that kind of uh, peace. He's often like a counselor because he's got that emotional wisdom within him and that, uh, you know, pause-ness. Um, so, we will clarify anyway. Under our news, I have the Tree of Pentacle. Now, we could be talking about a news for work, um, a collaboration, we're being offered to collaborate, to work in a project, to, to do something. Our talent is being recognized. Hey, you're super good in this. Can, do you want to join us in this? You know, we're building a cathedral here. Under the Page of Sword, I have the Prince of Sword. So... See that uh, fast uh, communication, fast news, uh, there's uh, something of rapidity here. Uh, there's a grasp of information and of sharing that information in, in a fast way. And then under our King of Cups, I have the Seven of Pentacle. And that is our routine. That's, that is assessing what we have built until now. We don't see results right away. Uh, but there's that confidence, emotional confidence with it. Uh, that readiness to invest ourselves in this, in tending our garden and all of that. Or um, it's in the process of bringing us this emotional steadiness by working on ourselves. Um, here, when your news arrived there, I have the Two of Pentacle. So yes, it's about work, it's about this, but you have to make the decision if you're going to invest in there. And it is possible that this brings maybe old insecurities and things like that within you. Uh, should I go in there? It's exciting, it's new, I need to learn more about it. But there's this emotional um, up and down that's going to be happening here. It's going to affect you emotionally, this proposal. And here in the Two of Pentacles, it, maybe it's going to ask a change of you. A change of scenery, a change of uh, whatever. And... So this is the dance of Shiva. You're going to have to let go of something in order to grab this new opportunity. Um, here under this page of sword, prince, uh, knight of sword, I have 
seven of cups so of course you're a bit destabilized because it's kind of this could take any shape you don't know how to feel about it that's why you want to learn about it what is the truth of this you know and then I have judgment and the knight of cups so this is going to be like the awakening the judgment you becoming like a new version of yourself into where you want to bring your heart towards your emotional satisfaction and the part of you that was kind of maybe insecure here afraid worried here uh, with those two swords of learning understanding uh, learn, un having the truth of the heart also uh, with uh, the knight of sword it brings you to a ten of sword so the end of a cycle where you kind of see a belief or a way of thinking that you had that brought you that insecurity and now is your chance to yes I can have something that would be prosperous because I think this what is being brought to you can be very prosperous and at the same time be emotionally happy in it yeah like a, this is new for you it's like almost a new way of thinking ten of sword and uh, bottom of the deck I have the high priestess and the four of uh, wands so we're talking about celebration about your home about being able to elevate ourselves uh, with our ones but with the high priestess that tells me that this is uh, for some of you it's going to be on a soul level uh, what you are going to be uh, brought in is a new way of seeing life feeling touching being grounded in life aries and for others of you it's going to be a concrete project but that is going to bring this kind of soul healing or soul involvement uh, in it so let's clarify this for you I call upon the divine, I call upon the light, I call upon the Holy Spirit, I call upon my guides for Aries for the month of February. Aries for the month of February. Okay, show me that Princess of Pentacle and the Sun. For Aries. What is that? Princess of Pentacle. What is that news? That happy. Uh, because as soon as the sun is there, it kind of shines a beautiful light on everything, you know? Okay, so yes, you are going to have to take a decision about this. It's part of an inner decision, and that's why you have swords here. It's almost like, do I believe in this? Queen of Cups. There again, the water sign. But that's your feminine. Do I allow something that could bring me so much happiness? Do I believe in it? Do I allow that emotional satisfaction to come in? Page of Pentacle. It is that enthusiastic communication, that fiery communication that would affect your pentacle, your matrix, your life, your 3D reality. And it is going to be a thought process, an inner decision of do you allow this abundance to come into your life, this seed of abundance to come into your life. Are you going to say it's too good to be true? So, let's see. Uh, there's your judgment. That's going to be about that. Okay, Princess of Sword. 
Ah, yes, six of pentacle. It's like that understanding that yes, something can be giving towards me. Not just me giving, but I could actually receive from that. I'm, the more I'm learning about it, the more I see that yes, this would be balanced. King of Cups. Deep in your emotions, you have maybe this Five of Cups. Maybe in the past, you've had disappointments and sorrow of things that emotionally hurt you. And this thing here, this is why you think this might be too good to be true because of that energy. But mastering your emotions means overcoming this. It means seeing that there are two cups in the back here that are plenty to go cross the river to that castle if you defocus on what you have lost in your past there. And you see how there's a black line crossing the it starts here, it, it kind of crosses the, the difference between this and what is there. Because it is a line that we have to cross. This is one reality and this is the other one. That is there for us if we cross that line. There's water that passes under the bridge here. Time, there's two uh, time differences in there. And when we focus on what we have lost, this creates kind of a time bubble where it is our reality, even if it was two years ago, ten years ago, twenty years ago. So, mastering our emotions, because the king, he mastered all the cups. So he mastered that. Here. He, he is solid in his emotions. He's not focused on the pain and the loss. And you have to defocus from, see, awakening again, judgment again. That is going to be part of your, you know, rising from your ashes. Letting that burn and die so you can come back in a new person. Judgment. Okay, a new person that can take that opportunity and that's going to say, no, it's not going to end up in a five of cups. It's going to end up in something that is going to fulfill me emotionally and pay. Yes, it is possible. Okay, Tree of Pentacle. Tree of Pentacle. Show me the Tree of Pentacle. is also being recognized for what we bring to the table understanding what we want to build oh. page of cup king of cup this could be uh, also on a romantic level for some of you a romantic level of an, an offer a meeting something a connection that is being brought to you uh, where you are seen, you are recognized for who you are, your aptitude, your capacity, your talent. And also, see, this, is, this can be a compliment. If we're talking about work, this can be a compliment about, um, man, you're really good at this. Uh, it's amazing. See, it's that emotional gift. Um, of some, and, and with the King of Cups again, it really is something that is almost going to heal past disappointments. Um, about maybe things that you've tried to build in the past and uh, did not work maybe. So whether it is for love 
or for work. It is something that would bring a beautiful emotional stability, profound emotional stability, if you allow it. Here, if you get that page of sword here that it was with the six of pentacle that it would not be a loss that it would actually be a gain prince of sword chariot and the eight of pentacle so eight of pentacle so there again if it's if we're talking about work here uh, our Prince of Sword. This is a truth from the heart. We un it, it's like if you understand something about the balance of give and take, and about uh, the how you invest yourself into something and the results that you get out of it. The chariot. There's an alignment of your shadow and your light, of your fears and your your unconsciousness and your consciousness. Um, this, the chariot is a very spiritual card also because it's spiritual movement, it's shadow work, it's uh, fast. These are two very fast movement cards of the Prince of Sword and the Chariot. It is almost like this opportunity can bring you very fast, very far uh, from the condition that you have right now. Um, you know, when you drive a chariot, um, you have to be in control of your mind. You have to be, see, he has a star on his head there because he has to remain connected to who he is and what he truly uh, wants and desires. He cannot have like his unconscious starting to sabotage himself from, from behind there. It has to be aligned and uh, in one thrust, you know. If not, the chariot goes everywhere. But there's like this huge understanding of, my God, this is what I want to build. This is what I'm good at. And, and this is where I'm going to see results in my life. Seven of Pentacles. From maybe a situation where nothing was moving. You were just like, you know, doing your daily thing and routine. But not gaining any uh, any profit from uh, whatever this is the opportunity to gain a lot of profit ten of sword that here where I work I work and I don't see any results of all my energies that I put end of the cycle ten of swords ten of swords you're finishing the cycle and this uh, was here keeping this in your energy of emotions this is what you're going to realize that what did to you all of the way of thinking like that hurt you and now you realize this is not your reality and you're gonna get out of it lovers so Yes, for some of you, if it's we're talking about work, it's it's like if the way you used to think that you never got any results in the efforts you made financially. Now it's the end of the, that cycle, and if it's um, the abundance of emotions, or if we're talking about a relationship here, any one of them. This news that is coming towards you where you're going to embark in it and it's going to ask you to align yourself and yes, this is an opportunity that is here for me. I am not fucking it up because now I am going to, yes, I am allowing abundance and love and financial abundance in every level in my life. Two of Pentacles. Tower. Yet yeah, the old way of seeing and feeling life and all of that is coming down. Tower. Um, so here we have that judgment again. The judgment of where I want to bring my heart and move from. 
And when I say bring my heart, it's also like this is where I want to invest myself emotionally and uh, therefore allowing it towards me also. And it was all a question of allowing here with the Queen of Cups. How much abundance can you allow? You're, you're getting a great offer in the month of February, Aries. And it is going to be your opportunity to uh, really rise up and, and finish a cycle of uh, Ten of Swords. Ah, yes. Queen of Wands, that's you. Ten of Cups. So that awakening is, is going to talk to your fire. To what do you want to manifest? Queen of Wands, she's the manifester. So what, how much love, happiness and abundance do you allow within yourself to pass through? Having that peace and joy and calmness, not uh, worrying and, and all of that. And so what do you want to manifest? You're going to have that wake up call. And here, Ten of Cups with the Seven of Cups and the Prince of Cups that tells me that the way, the maximum you could allow yourself to receive and share with the others, like receive and give, you've had hit that ceiling. And now it is time to uh, go to a new level because you are being uh, offered an Ace of Cup here. And you are going to master, uh, because when somebody carries this within them, all their loss and all of that, when it comes to receive, you have a hard time receiving. And when it comes to give, you give out of loss. So it's, it's, this is the end of doing things this way. End of the cycle of the emotional capacity to give and receive. So now, and this is why you have to embark in this, and it's going to be a great movement forward uh, spiritually, because you are going to allow to receive more and give more than what you have experienced in the past. Ten of Swords. Okay, so we have the repeat of the Seven of Cups. So that tells me that uh, it was all in the way that you were, uh, you know, making these movies in your head. Of uh, Because when we carry losses and grief inside of us on the long term, when it comes to how we imagine or project ourselves in the future, we can project this emotional baggage, this sorrowness in there and therefore making dark movies, you know. If somebody tells us they love us, we think, oh yes, but I'm sure they don't really. Uh, it's, it's the way we project ourselves. And also the illusions that we can uh, create uh, in our hearts from, from that. And here I have the Empress and I have the Knight of Cups again. So this is all about what I will allow and create and bringing my heart forward and being able to receive that Ace of Cup. From mastering this, that end of the cycle is going to bring you into the Empress which is creation, she is unconditional love, she is abundance, and all of those aspect, aspects there, readjusting this and bringing forward or receiving love. So that is beautiful. And we have the High Priestess. So this is happening on the soul level uh, for you, Aries. So say yes to that opportunity and open your heart to receive 
I'm gonna name this just say yes so now let's look at a love for the month of February now the first card that popped out uh, yeah it's the the, the cavalier uh, the it's kind of a knight also it's a man riding a horse but he's the one that uh, would bring news you know like so it is information coming towards you somebody bringing a news somebody bringing a message and there we had like the messages here uh, after that I have the man now the man can be you can be from a man a news coming from a man man is pretty neutral depending of what comes after but here after three cards came out and um, here they are and you know what I think it reflects very well uh, what has been put out here because I have the mices and that is worry that is anxiety loss and uh, this is this is this you know you know how mices they they chew up things when we dream of mices often we can be shown a way of thinking or a way of something that eats us up slowly uh, in our mind, in our energy, in our heart, because of what we've been carrying. It's kind of subtle, you know, they kind of go through the walls, but they eat up slowly. So this is a bit that energy here. And then I have the whip. Now the whip is when we straight up something. We either cut it out, punish it, whatever, but there's like this, whoa, something needs to be straightened up. Bing. And then I have the lilies, which can be passion and uh, beautiful. Um, and, and the bottom of the, the card, the sun. So these are two extremely positive cards of uh, abundance, um, sensuality, sex sexuality, love, and all of that. Purity, uh, lilies, and the sun. So you see how there's a switch happening and when I pulled these I was thinking of love was asking for the energies of love so I think a news it's a bit this the man can be you can be uh, from a man or whatever but the part of you that uh, carried uh, worry and the eating of the mind there and the heart also hurting ourselves like this like little mice do is going to be whipped out so you can allow yourself to receive the lilies and the sun that are there because they are right here in the beginning the sun also so Aries you have a beautiful opportunity coming towards you in the month of February and I would tell you take it and allow yourself that abundance on every level so this is your reading Aries I'm gonna thank you for watching for sharing and commenting subscribing also it helps the channel thank you for the ones of you that gave donations on the first uh, on the new moon and the full moon I'm still gonna do the ceremonies to give you back uh, from the universe um, private readings description is below and um, on this namaste love and light and I'll see you next month alright bye bye